HDB blocks could become cooler in future and 3D printing may be used in building them. It's just one way in which the government is working with the private sector on research and development to find solutions to urban challenges. Nearly $70 million will be pumped in over the next two years to look into issues like climate change and sustainability. Nisha Rahim with more. A cooler home that goes easy on the environment could be on the way. HDB is working with industrial giant Evonik to see how it can use an insulation material called Calocet on the secondary roof panel of flats. The aim is to reduce the ambient temperature by 2 degrees Celsius. The study will likely start in the first quarter of next year. If it's successful, the solution can be used on other parts of an HDB block and not just the roof. Both sides are also researching the use of 3D concrete printing technology. This could speed up construction as well as expand design capability. The agreement was signed at the Urban Sustainability R&D Congress. It's an example of how the government is looking at ways to strengthen R&D partnerships with the private sector. We are doing far less in the built environment in the private sector compared to other industries within Singapore and certainly compared to international benchmarks. That's the, what the survey indicates. So there is scope for the private sector, for, the, for our companies to do more research and development and innovation and commercialize your research into solutions that can be deployed both within Singapore and in markets overseas. The $17 million injection will come from the $150 million allocated to a research program known as Cities of Tomorrow, which was launched two years ago. Mr. Wong added that more areas of research will be added to the program. For instance, in the area of resilient infrastructure, it hopes to use technologies like automation and predictive analytics to lower the cost and raise productivity in managing aging estates. He said that solutions like these are important as Singapore takes on the future. Some of these longer term challenges are existential in nature. For example, threats like climate change and rising sea levels. How do we deal with that, understand the nature of the threat and take protective action? Some are shorter to medium term concerns like meeting the needs of our aging population and keeping our infrastructure up to date and meeting the growing demands from our people for a better quality of life at a sustainable cost. The government will also set up a platform which it calls BETA. It aims to bring together industry stakeholders and catalyze more R&D. For example, it can link a developer with the relevant party to help it do the R&D work before testing and commercializing a product. The platform is expected to launch before the second half of next year.